Look at me, hacking into NASA servers. Pretty fancy, huh? Eh, wrong. This is nothing fancy at all. This is just a terminal and I'm just printing a bunch of gibberish, actually running a Python test, just printing a bunch of gibberish to the screen. And I'm making this video to introduce you to the terminal to show you what it is, what's used for and how to use it. Most people where they are beginning in their IT careers, um, the terminal is scary. It looks like something fancy, something hacky. All right. And that's not the case. And I'm going to teach you all about that in this video. Hi, my name is Armas Kanfu and I help people break into the IT field by learning QA automation. I have a lot of resources about QA automation and how to become QA automation right here in my channel and on my website, superxqa.com. Check it out. All right. So let's talk about the terminal. I'm going to kill this and I'm just going to show you examples of terminals. So here I'm on a Mac. I'm going to show you both on a Mac on and, and uh, on a Windows. Here you can see I have a bunch of different windows. They all basically terminal. So the word terminal is just a brand. We're going to talk about that. These are actually two different types of terminals. The ones we see on top are iTerm2 and the ones you see at the bottom are terminal that come built in with, with Mac. And if I go to my Windows machine, Windows, the most common one is CMD, Command Prompt. And all of those are basically CMD and this one is PowerShell. The UI is different. That is basically the UI. The screen right here, the square is actually like a brand. And what's inside of it is called a shell, which is a language that we use to talk to the computer. So this one is PowerShell as the name impl implies. It uses PowerShell, that's the shell. This is CMD, it uses a CMD shell. And uh, right now I have it set up, so it uses Z shell, but there's different types of shells. So all you need to know is this little screen, it has a lot of name for it. I mean, if you want to be technical, the, the screen itself is uh, a terminal or depending on the brand and what's inside of it is a shell. And, but it doesn't really matter. When, you be, when you're learning this stuff, it, it really doesn't matter. What you need to understand is this little window is nothing but a way for us to talk to the computer. Typically, when you talk to a computer, what do we use? We use a mouse and a keyboard, right? That's what we use to talk to a computer. We click on things when, when we need something to happen. We type and we click. If you want to open an application, we double click it or we click it. If you want to do something, you click it, you drag it, you move it, right? You right click it, copy it. So we talk to the computer using the keyboard and the mouse. So the terminal is basically you don't have a mouse. You're talking to the computer just using the keyboard. You're writing commands, right? That's why it's called command line, the command line, right? That's why I say terminology. That when you're talking to the people, when you're talking to people, they say, hey, do this in the terminal, do this in the command line, right? Do this in the shell. So all of that just means same thing. It just means run commands. You are running a command telling the computer what to do. For example, if you want to open a file, right? Double click it, file opens. But in the command, you go to where the file is, you write a bunch of commands to get to the file and you say open, right? Open whatever the file name is or depending on what type of application you want to open it. If you want to open it with Word, there's a specific command. If you want to open it in Excel, there's a specific command. If you want to open it in X, there's a specific command. So there's a lot of commands. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing much to this. It is just running commands, right? So we have to get used to it. And as a programmers or any really any field in IT, as a programmer, you use this every day, but in, in any field, you are eventually going to use it. So don't be scared of it. It is there on, on your computer built in, whether you're on a Windows or on a Mac. If you're on a Mac, terminal, right? So you can just command space is a shortcut to, to open up the search bar on, on a Mac, command space, and type terminal, and you should, you should be able to find it. That's the easiest way. And on a Windows, you can just open the search and search for CMD. And you should be able to find it. Also, you can hit Control R for the run and type in CMD. Then it would open up a brand new CMD. And those colors, they're customizable. I, I just to make a point, I created a bunch. I always use the black one with black background with uh, white text. But you see in the movies, work all kinds of colors, right? And that's just a configuration, whatever the preference. If you like blue, you do blue. If you want to red, like red, you do red. It doesn't matter. You can get fancy, right? There's, I mean, it's not just a shell. Like at the beginning, yeah, we're running to run, uh, we're using it to run commands, but obviously there is a lot you can do. You can configure it in so many different ways. One use case I've seen about these colors is 
depending on what server you're talking to, you can configure it to show you different colors. Like for example, if you're talking to a production server, right? If you're working in production, very sensitive stuff, you 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 get a red one because you know when you're working on the red one, you know you have to be very careful. That's one use case. So the colors don't mean anything, it's just configuration. And this part here where you see the, uh, the text where you actually write the command, right? Uh, right here, that is called the prompt. That's also configuration. You can configure this to look like the way you want it to look like, right? Mine, I have it so it will it will show my name and my um, uh, my 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 username at the the current location I'm at, the current folder I'm at. Okay, so that is what the terminal is, and I'm going to show you just few commands to just uh, you know drive the point home. So let's see an example. I'm going to open my finder, right? So I'm going to open my finder here. I'm going to open the terminal here, side to side. I'm going to make this bigger so you can see. So for example, when you open the terminal or you open the terminal and you type CD. So I'm going to do this on a Mac, but the, the whole point is to show you the idea of what it is being used for, right? On a Windows, it's the same thing. The difference is the actual commands are different, right? CD is, for example, it's a command, it's called change directory. I'll show you uh, right now. Uh, it works both on a Mac and on a Windows, but not everything works. For example, to see the current working directory, uh, there's different commands on Windows and on a Mac. So on a Mac, you can do PWD, we will show you where I am. I'm slash users admas. That is the current location of the folder. But if you if I was to go on on Windows, I'm just going to do it on CMD. Uh, if I do uh, PWD, it doesn't work. It says unknown, right? PWD is not recognized. C uh, CWD, I think current working directory. Uh, I thought it was CWD on a Windows, but there is an equivalent, right? If you're on a Windows machine, you're going to have to look it up. What what your um, what your commands are because there's tons of them and those are the basic ones so i'm going to show you quick examples on a mac and uh, we'll come back talk about windows but this video is not to teach you commands this video is to show you what the terminal is used for so it doesn't matter what platform i show you i'm still going to get my point across okay and i'm going to show you a cheat sheet so i created this let me get that all right, so I created this cheat sheet, right? This is work in progress. When I was making this video, I decided ah, I probably should create a little document and I start working on it. And I know if I waited to finish the document, the video will never come out. So I'm just doing the video. So by the time you look at this, this might look very different. It might be formatted a lot, a lot nicer. There's a Mac and Linux. Mac and Linux, they use the same commands and there is a Windows section, okay? So I'm gonna put the link at the bottom. Uh, and you'll be able to access the latest version of this. And there, there are uh, some basic commands. I'm just going to do a few of those right now. And I'm going to do it on a Mac. All right. So, for example, when we're using the mouse, right, the normal U UI way, UI is user interface or GUI, GUI, graphical user interface. So when we're doing this stuff here, we are using the graphical user interface, right? So, for example, I go, I'm, I'm going to my homepage, my home, right? I go to Admas. Then I go to downloads, right? Then there is a folder called folder one. So let's say I, I go to folder one, I click it, right? And then I go to folder 1.1, 1.2, everything inside of it. I can navigate through it. I can change the view. I can make this view to make it even easier to understand. Let me go this way, make it this view. Yeah, so I can go to downloads. I'm inside downloads, right? Then I can go to folder one, I'm inside folder one. I can go to folder 1.1, I'm inside there, right? So how you see how I'm navigating from one folder to another folder to another folder. So this is actually a little bit easier to see. Now in the terminal, I'm gonna do the same thing except I'm gonna use commands, right? You know how I double click a folder to go into the folder? I'm gonna change directory in, in the command. I'm gonna run a command that says CD, change directory, right? LS, list. Here, as soon as I go to downloads, with my with our own eyes, we can see it's already listed out. The computer knows to list out what's in there, right? So if I'm now back on the command line, if I do PWD, it shows me where I am. I am slash under user admas, right? Like just like here, I went to admas, my home directory. I'm in the home directory. Also, this little tilde, tilde means home. Whenever you are in Linux type of unit uh, systems, tilde means you're on your home directory. So ls is list directory. Basically, you, you're listing all the folders in the directory. So I have a bunch of stuff here. 
and downloads is one of them right so i'm going to go into downloads so here i'm going to click i'm going to double click to get into downloads right i double click i'm in downloads but here in the command line i'm going to do cd i'm all the way at the bottom cd downloads right and i can hit tab it will complete it for me but as a beginner you can just type it cd downloads hit enter now i am inside of downloads and my prompt actually show me that i am inside of uh, the downloads folder so let me clear this you can type clear to clear it out now if i do pwd present working directory or actually the p might be stand for something else but it's the current working directory present working directory all right but i think the p is something else so it's showing me where i am i am in the downloads folder right and if i do ls for list and then i is, is listing out what's in there just like here with our eyes we can see what's in there it listed out what's in there right so i'm going to go into folder one double click i'm in folder one i'm going here i can see there is folder one right i'm going to cd into it i'm going to change directory cd folder one bam right if i do pwd where am i i am in folder right so this is literally what you're doing if i was to do this quickly on 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 uh, windows machine uh let's move this out of the way i'm in a virtual machine for windows for ls for example this dir dir it shows you ls a list of the folders where i am right if i want to get into the downloads folder in the same thing cd cd is the same in in windows on a, on a mac on a linux right cd downloads the tab also works here and now i'm in in downloads folder maybe i should make this bigger uh, that's not working because I'm in the VM. So there are commands. So if we go to come back here and take a look at this, you can just practice this just by going through some of these commands, right? These commands for Windows are not really that great. I'm going to clean this up. But the Mac ones are really good. Those are the most basic ones we use. How to create a directory, how to create a file, how to move a file, how to delete a file. I can quickly show you that. So for example, I'm in folder one. If I do ls, there are the two folders right folder 1.1 and 1.2 so i can make i can make another directory here i can say make dir and i can i can call it new dir let's call it that right all of a sudden you see it showing up here because i just made a directory but here i can do right click and new folder and i can call it i can call it give it a name another one right another one so and if I come here and if I do ls, which is list, I can see it's created. So the same commands I can do, right click, make new folder and give it a name. Here I can just say make dir and give it another another name. X, Y, Z, Y, X, whatever, Z, Y, X, right? All of a sudden the folder is created. So you run commands here. You can create a file. I can touch delete me.py. I just created a Python file and you can see the Python file right here. So the terminal is not scary at all it's just a tool we use to talk to the computer all right so don't be scared of it start playing with it uh you don't have to be that careful you can't really destroy things but anything that's that if you're just copying a command from online anything that stands with rm remove be careful with it. make sure you're, you're removing something and remove means rm means delete and uh, it's pretty much impossible to recover something you delete here if i right click and delete this move to trash i can go to trash and recover it but in the terminal if i remove it uh, it's pretty much impossible to get it back okay uh, extremely difficult if if it's possible so that's what i have for you guys i hope you feel more comfortable about using the terminal and uh, the command line okay that is just the beginning and there's tons and tons of commands everything we do when we run a python script we run it in the command. It's a Python command. If we want to run a JavaScript, I mean a Java code, uh, Java is not really a scripting language. Uh, you come to the terminal and you run Java Java commands. Whatever the commands you want to run, you do it in the terminal. And I want to show you something also. Like on, if you are working on like uh, an IDE like PyCharm. So this is based PyCharm. I use this for an IDE. And at the bottom, usually you get terminal, right? When you open terminal, it's the same thing. It opened up the terminal but it's, it's integrated like i remember i told you the terminal is actually a ui it's just the graphical user interface and this is a graphical interface user interface but inside of it you're using a shell whatever the language is z shell bash whatever it is so in an ide whether you're using a pycharm intellij or uh, uh, vs code they all have this 
terminal and when you open the terminal it's basically the same thing as you opening here you have your, you have your own set of environment you have your own set of variables and everything and we're going to talk about environment variables in, in another video I'll, I'll link it at the bottom because it's really kind of related but in this video i just want to introduce you to the terminal and there you have it don't be scared right away open it up whether you're on a windows or on a mac start using the command line all right let's move on